Have you ever imagined what it would feel like to live in your own palace? A house tailored exactly to your imagination? Think of your dream property and then think a little harder. Then you will begin to get an idea of what the most expensive homes in the world look like. Because what happens when you bring an architect only limited by imagination and an owner with a bottomless pocket? You get an architectural masterpiece that looks as if it were cut straight out of a fantasy novel. Today, we take a look at penthouses in Monaco to palaces in England. Here are the most expensive houses in the world. 18 to 19 Kensington Gardens, $128 million. 18 to 19 Kensington Gardens is one of the most expensive houses in the world. This behemoth of a house is located on Billionaire's Row, one of London's most prestigious areas, Kensington Gardens. The property is currently owned by Indian business magnate and billionaire Lakshmi Middle. Mr. Middle is the chairman and CEO of the world's largest steel making company, Arcelor Middle. The property is around 55,000 square foot and was built in the 19th century. It was initially two semi-detached houses, but was later converted into a single structure by developer David Khalili. It has 12 bedrooms, Turkish baths, an indoor pool, and enough parking spaces for 20 cars. Before the property was purchased by Mr. Middle, it was previously owned by wealthy families like the Rothschilds, the Free Poles, David Khalili, and Bernie Ecclestone. The building is also right next door to the home of Prince William and Kate Middleton. Palazzo di Amore, $195 million. Beverly Hills, California is filled with some very expensive properties, so it's no surprise that it is home to one of the most expensive houses in the world. Palazzo di Amore is owned by successful real estate entrepreneur Jeff Green and is roughly 53,000 square feet. This Mediterranean-style villa has 12 bedrooms, 23 bathrooms, numerous swimming pools, tennis courts, waterfalls, and theaters, and also has a car garage that can contain up to 27 cars. Now, if you are a party lover, then you will be interested to know that the house also has a revolving dance floor and ballroom. The property itself generally looks more like a holiday resort than someone's home, but we can assure you that it is one of the world's most expensive homes. Ellison Estate, $200 million Owned by Larry Ellison, the co-founder of Oracle and one of the world's richest men, this $200 million estate is also one of the most expensive houses in the world. Due to the sheer size of the estate, approximately 23 acres to be exact, the property holds more than one dwelling. Within the compound, there are 10 different buildings which include a tea and bathhouse, a man-made lake, and a koi pond. The design of the estate was significantly influenced by the Japanese emperor's palace, and it was designed by Paul Driscoll, who was an architect and Zen Buddhist teacher. The estate grounds are also dotted with some expensive trees, like cherry blossoms, maples, oaks, and redwoods. For Fairfield Pond, $248 million. It is almost impossible to have a list of the most expensive houses in the world and not have any of them located in New York. Four Fairfield Pond is the home of billionaire Ira Renner, owner of the Renko Group, a holding investment company in smelting and manufacturing. The house sits on 63 acres and is equipped with 29 bedrooms, 39 bathrooms, a 91-foot dining room, a basketball court, a bowling alley, squash courts, tennis courts, and three swimming pools. The property is so large that it needs a gigantic amount of electricity to power it. Fortunately, the house comes with its own power plant located on site. Another thing that makes this house even more amazing is that it comes with a garage that can hold somewhere in the region of 100 cars. The Odeon Tower Penthouse, $330 million. With an estimated value of $330 million, the Odeon Tower Penthouse is right up there with the most expensive houses in the world. For that kind of money, you will get a 35,000 square foot apartment at the very top of one of the most expensive buildings in Monaco. The Odeon Tower was designed by architect Alexander Giraldi and developed by Group Mazako. The penthouse covers several floors and comes with a private elevator. To add to the long list of luxuries, it also has its private water slide that runs into a 360 degree view infinity pool. If you know you have enough cash in your pocket, snap this one up when it next comes on the market as it is one of the most impressive houses that are out there. Now, if you're liking these houses, take a moment to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and let us know in the comments so we can reply to you. Les Palais Buell, $390 million. Coin the Bubble Palace, 
Le Palais Bu was designed by Hungarian architect Antti Lovek and was built somewhere around 1975 to 1989. The property's nickname comes from a series of round rooms that look out over the Mediterranean Sea. Lovek's inspiration for the design of the building came from the man's earliest dwellings, although this property has been seriously upgraded with some nice features. For instance, the property has three swimming pools, numerous gardens, and a 500-seat amphitheater built into the hillside grounds. Bubble Palace is currently owned by Italian-born French fashion designer Pierre Cardin. The estate is mainly used as a holiday home for Pierre, but it has been used to hold prestigious parties and events, such as when Dior showed its cruise collection there at an indoor-outdoor fashion show. Villa Le Cedres $450 million Located in St. Jean Cap Ferret, France Villa Le Cedres is estimated at a whopping $450 million. This property is getting close to being worth almost half a billion dollars. It was first built in 1830 and purchased by King Leopold II of Belgium in 1904. It was previously considered to be the most expensive estate on the market back in 2017, but has since been overtaken by the properties down this list. The estate is set on approximately 35 acres of gardens, and it gets its name from the many cedar trees located throughout its grounds. The house itself is approximately 18,000 square feet and consists of 14 bedrooms. It also comes with an Olympic-sized swimming pool and a large stable big enough for 30 horses. Inside, you will find crystal chandeliers, 19th-century oil paintings, gilded woodwork, and a wood-paneled library holding somewhere north of 3,000 books. Villa Leopolda $750 million Villa Leopolda is estimated at around $750 million and is owned by Lily Safra, the widow of Lebanese-Brazilian banker Edmund Safra. The property is located in France's Alps Maritime Department of its Côte d'Azur region and occupies approximately 50 acres of land. It has 11 bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, a commercial greenhouse, a helipad, an outdoor kitchen, and one of the nicest swimming pools that can ever be found. The estate is famous in itself, as it was the setting for Alfred Hitchcock's 1955 film To Catch a Thief. The property's name comes from its original owner, King Leopold II of Belgium, and was redesigned by American architect Ogden Codman Jr. in the 1920s. Antilia, $1 billion. Antilia is located in Mumbai, India, and costs a staggering $1 billion. It was designed and constructed by Chicago-based architecture firm Perkins & Will and hospitality design firm Hirsch Bedner Associates. The property is owned by the richest man in India, Mukesh Ambani the chairman and managing director of Reliance Industries Limited, a Fortune 500 company. The 400,000-square-foot building is positioned in Mumbai's Kumbaya Hill neighborhood and stands at an impressive 27 stories high. Antilia was built to withstand an earthquake of magnitude 8 on the Richter scale. Inside the house, there are six floors devoted only to car storage, a service station for the cars, a 50-seat movie theater, a temple, and nine elevators. It also has a health spa, a salon, a ballroom and yoga studio, three helipads, an ice cream room, and multiple cinemas. This building reportedly requires at least 600 staff to keep things running smoothly. Buckingham Palace, $2.9 billion. Currently holding the title as the most expensive house in the world, Buckingham Palace is worth $2.9 billion. The palace is owned by the British royal family and is one of several lavish properties in their portfolio. Located in the city of Westminster, London, the palace comprises of 775 rooms, 78 bathrooms, 92 offices, and 19 staterooms. It has been the official residence of the monarchy since 1873. The palace is huge and occupies a space of approximately 828,000 square feet, and the garden alone is 40 acres. However, despite its sheer size and its title as the most expensive house in the world, it is still not the largest palace in the world. Which one of these beautiful houses do you love the most? Leave your answers in the comment section below and check this video to find out who are the most beautiful princesses in the world.